Ayo. Stay. So, this counselor you were going to see, to get your head sorted out, it was him, wasn't it? It was James. Sorry. <laughs> How could you do it, Harry? We're planning a wedding. A new life. Supposed to be trying to start again, forget everything, to try and get back to normal. Yeah, we still can. <sighs> you know, after Amy, everybody said I was mad to give you another chance. But because you give me so many, I just ignored them. And I really wanted it to work, okay? Not just for me, but for Liam and Lucas. And I believe we could do it, you know. Despite every part of me telling me that I was wrong, and... <laughs> I mean, look at us now. I was wrong, wasn't I? Because we were never going to make it work. We were just kidding ourselves. That's, Steve, that's not how it is, OK? You've got to believe me. You know, when I was in prison, you just left me to rot. But as soon as James Nightingale's in trouble, you go running to him. No, no, James is my friend. He needed someone to talk to. Stop! Stop lying, Harry. OK, OK, it was, it was a two-way thing. It was just talking. It was just talking. Well, I'm your partner, OK? It's me that you're supposed to be able to talk to. Yeah, I know. So why can't you? What is it that you can say to James Nightingale that you can't say to me? Steve, please. OK, I just got bail. My head's all over the place. If you ever want the chance for me to be able to trust you again, then you're going to have to choose. It's either me or James. Hey, don't make me do this. But you choose or I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs>